right, hello. Chat, uh, let me make sure that's picking up properly. It is good, 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 good. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, whew, we have our resurrection crew here with us tonight. <laughs> um, uh, sadly, of course, uh, uh, Maven Thaxel won't be here tonight as their respective players couldn't make it tonight. But, um, you know, as, as odds have it, we have uh, um, um, three, there are three characters that were just <laughs> resurrected here with us tonight. <laughs> uh, we have Nithgria bouncing around the tower as well. Um, let's see, last session, it was, uh, it was, a, I guess maybe intense isn't the right word, but it was, uh, something. <laughs> there was a big ritual, um, everyone chipped in different aspects, different, uh, um, thoughts and feelings and, and some material components and other such things. Nethgria created a little ritual floor to the tower. Um, and everyone's spirits were beckoned back to them, uh, and all three not only succeeded, but, um, accepted, um, passage back into their bodies. Um, that of course leaves, uh, Lynn and Marf were here and Solomon. Um, and they are currently just elsewhere in the tower, I think, sorting things out, or we can, we'll touch on that at the beginning of the session and see where they're, what they're up to. Uh, Aifa has asked everyone to, um, have a, that little lunchtime meeting with her. She just wants to update everyone on what she's discovered regarding the Sword of Cass. The crew, our villains, are looking for, um... Four components, the completed Jataga Vare, which is Thaxel's necklace. Uh, it's broken in five pieces. She has two, and the other three um, are in uh, her brother slash um, the planar there, whatever it is, the Solar, the uh, McGregor, McGregor's hand. Um, the Sword of Cass, which is said to be uh, here in this quadrant. Um, something called the Prayer. Uh, which uh, has a lead to its location here in this quadrant. And Jin's curse, which they discovered is in the mirror, housed and locked <laughs> uh, below the keep, one of the Stormfall crews uh, keeps out in the woods there. Uh, so, uh, of course, they're looking to ransom the world. <laughs> Not only save it, but ransom it, make it worth their while. It's dangerous work. And people deserve to be compensated for, you know, for that. <laughs> um, but for this morning, um, we find ourselves just after the ritual is finished. Food has been eaten. Aifa um, called in and asked everyone to come find her. Bring some, bring some of that food out there with you and uh, we'll all meet up. But she goes ahead of you in case any of you have anything you want to do. Here in the ritual room as we kind of wrap up from from last week's ritual uh, nope okay all right you'll find your way uh you're probably assisted i'll say nithri is probably going to oh that's right ava wiped wiped away two um exhaustion points so y'all can walk just in a haggard manner so you find yourselves heading up the stairs uh, to the, the level above, and um, Ava has a little presentation area set up for you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so oh uh, yes, welcome. It's good to see that everything was successful. I th I think you mentioned resurrecting friends, but I re I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> my brain's a bit scattered, but but. I'm glad to see it was done and successful. Um, please, uh, come come sit and hear about the Sword of Cass. Yes, I have a decent amount of information on this now. Mm. Uh, we'll just... Oh, sorry. Please go. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. 
a Markov would like like grab onto a chair with his hand shaking a little bit like an old man. He's gonna sit down like, oh, oh all right, all right, let's hear about this sword. <sighs> <sighs> it is a bit harrowing returning <laughs> from the other side. Yes, uh, oh dear. Uh, Evie's gonna about fall into the one that's next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably almost like hitting her head on the table, like trying to like. <laughs> and uh, Lynn's just gonna stand near the end of the table okay. and just listen. Uh, Solomon's gonna stand on like the other side of the couch, like on the armrest next to uh, where Markon's sitting. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anything for Harlan? Harlan is. Yeah, he's just going to find the literally the closest object that looks comfortable and sit down on that. Just kind of close his eyes for a little bit and say, You're going to have to start at the beginning. I'm afraid we're not quite as up to date about these plans as, well, to put so fine a point on it, the people who didn't die. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if uh, all I remember is getting ripped apart by metal dogs oh and Imagine. some other stuff it's very mm-hmm. hazy but right if you could just talk slow and just bear with us for a second uh evie almost hit her head on the table it's it's not Ooh. looking good right now oh i certainly oh dear 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 dear, dear. Uh, yes well um, I'm not sure what uh, everyone has been up to uh, on the island. Of course, I had to depart to do some of this research, but I just returned. Um, your friend Thaxel called for me uh, and said uh, you all required an expedient uh, means of, of uh, extraction from the city. I hope... Th- well, I... Honestly, whatever you did, you did. I, I'm just glad to have you here. And, um... <clears throat> yes. Uh, saving the world and such, of course. <laughs> um, but perhaps your friends can fill you in on that. As far as, as what I've been up to, I have been looking for um, information on the Sword of Cass. Uh, I've also been looking into the prayer, but... Not much is known about that here, unfortunately. Um, so, uh, a sort of cast, yes, well, there, there are a number of, of rumors that circle it uh, and circle it. First, most of them have to do with, um, well, certainly they must be embellished. <laughs> um, some speak of the sword of Cal being responsible for breaking free just one vast island from the land below and raising it into the sky it's a very long time ago um, they clearly revere it and, and, and insist that it is part of the very creation of the floating cities that, that exist here in this portion of the world other stories tell of a later time in history where um, the sword is also responsible for breaking apart that one large island into many of the smaller separate pieces that are now individual islands here. Uh, much like the ones that we left at Twin Cities of Sandir. Uh, again, it feels just just a smidge embellished, um, but it was helpful that it is in the lore here in history. They also you seem a, a wise, uh, well-read woman. Mm. Uh, how much stock do you put in these sorts of myths? Is this merely some sort of very nice, jeweled, magical sword? Or is this really the sort of thing where if we swing it about, we're likely to cause some sort of continental cataclysm? I would say my best educated guess would put it somewhere in between those two. I... It must hold a great deal of power if it's required for this particular spell. But could it have severed continents and land uh, from land? Possibly. Um, it's certainly not something I would swing without uh, <laughs> preparing a space to do so. <laughs> Running some tests if, 
if you know what I mean. Mm. Mm. Quite so. <laughs> but now, some of the more, perhaps not troubling, but uh, if we're going to encounter any sort of resistance with this, this next piece may have something to do with that. Uh, they, they do say all the histories I've found all spoke of uh, this sword of Cal, Cal uh, not the sword of Cal, sword of Cal being wielded oh. yeah, <laughs> by an ancient heavenly power. Um, no specifics other than that, mostly in depictions of, of a large angelic creature, uh, other times uh, an aura spoken of, or just the sheer size of this creature. Yes. In uh, to note, there is um, a race here that uh, also appears in lore regularly surrounding the Sword of Cal. Um, there are many names for it, but but not one that is found across all the different islands that I that I search for. They have not been seen at all for a millennia. Um, but they are seen as, as saviors from a, a time long past. Um, they speak of them, this this race, uh, um, as having a glorious uh, um, powers and, and, and beautiful wings to fly through the air. And, and they fought the evil below, most likely the Omega D. Um, and... and are also responsible again surrounding this this heavenly being that severed this ground and rose it to the sky uh, during whatever initial cataclysm brought the Omega Sea in down below. To spare them, this was done. I have learned of a, a rather large island in the northwest portion of this this particular quadrant. That's, um, again, uh, has been alluded to in some of these texts. This area, um, a lot of this speaks of, of the origin of things coming from that area. And I, there's very scarce in maps here. Only a few uh, islands seem to be traveled between. They have those arcane airships. Um, but this one, uh, difficult to procure uh, a map to its location, but I have found one. Um, the island itself uh, is called uh, what would that be? Uh, Equia. Which, uh, and anyone that speaks Elvish knows that that means origin. Uh, if Harlan mostly, you know, grew up and lived in a different quadrant, would he still be able to roll history to see if he would ever have heard of this? Or, or these people, or anything like that? Uh, given your specific background of, of knowledge seeking, I'll say go ahead. It'd be pretty high DC, but it won't okay. be impossible. What was the Elvish meaning again? Apologies. Uh, no problem. Origin. Uh, yeah, origin. origin. Okay. So, uh, 24. You would have heard, uh, it probably wouldn't have been attached to a floating island or this quadrant, but you, here and there, scattered in some sagely readings, um, you would have heard of a place uh, from certain histories, likely religious, um, probably wouldn't be tied to any particular deity, but just old scribed information maybe once came across it you know but that that name and that being of a place of some significance but not anything you ever heard of in the other quadrant sure okay yeah i, I guess i'll relay that but harlan doesn't have much to add mm -hmm. oh oh Nithgria, please um Come in, we were just discussing those, uh, our oh. findings, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, uh, she will go and sit down and kind of look around everyone. And... <laughs> uh, um, mm, well, 
Um, I would like to propose heading to that in that general direction. Uh, I do believe we can find a giant floating island with the powers that be here in the tower, the power we hold. That's true. Uh, but it'll take some time. Um, I know that um, some of you, uh, you'll kind of look, you know, probably Lynn, Solomon, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Marf, temporarily keyed to the tower. Now, um, you're welcome to stay a while if you need to, but if you have anywhere you wish to go, we do, while we're still close to uh, Zosa, I could send you back through the door from whence you came. Um, you will return to the door you stepped through. Um, the powers of, of uh, the tower in this area regarding teleportation uh, and transmigration are not as they are elsewhere in the world. So we could also stop by one of the other island groupings. There's uh, uh, an island called Atmos Isles. A number of different uh, levels of islands that float about one another. The scholarly wing and the religious wing and um, market and, and a number of other areas. Um, or, if you wish to stay until we return to our quadrant, you're welcome to this room here on the tower. No, I think I've done quite enough staying in one place while I was dead. I'm eager to see the outside, at least get a breath of fresh air. Ah, mm. yes, of course. Uh, please, uh, there's, there's a lovely view from uh, the upper floor. Um, it's a bit of an open... Um, gosh, boop. Can't think of the word. Anyway, the upper floor, the penthouse sort of just opens up. To, uh, with a large rail around it with huge arching openings um, to get a good view of everything. Um, well, please, uh, to, you don't have to decide now, of course. Uh, I would like to set a course in that direction as if we're stopping at Atmos Isles. Then. Uh, yes. This is Lynn raising her hand, by the way. Okay. <laughs> uh... Atmos Isles? Yes. Um, she'll, she'll turn to uh, Solomon and do we still have alchemy jugs left over? Do you know? I think the Not that are... Are... Yeah, Solomon would be like, no, I gave those to the children. They were going to need it. Being as though you know we we poisoned the, uh, uh, you know. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. Guess I'll just take one from one of them then. Uh, yeah. Uh, at most aisles. Uh, quick question, Afa, and this is uh, Solomon talking. Oh yes, yes. Uh, is it possible for us to make a pit stop in the Fey? I wish to return to to Lord Malik, and I know he I know he's there currently. I believe we could manage that if we, we'd have to. If we stop the tower, we can focus its energy to to bend us over to the Fey safely. I believe. Yes. 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 <laughs> this isn't this isn't my first time traveling inter interplanarly. It'll be fine. Oh. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. The, the the sickness wears off in like 10 minutes. Wonderful, yes. <laughs> we do, we can manage the towers. Uh, we can use a door, and it should do everything we need to get you over to the Feywild. Okay, because that's, that's where I want. planes? Hmm? Lynn's asking, it's like, do you walk through planes? No, I've just traveled through them. Like, to meet you, I had to travel through a plane. Mm. Yeah. yeah can kind of walk through planes. I mean, there are doors that you can make, and you can just walk from one plane to another. That's not something I know how to do. Oh. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I have been meaning to there. ask, actually. Um, a hot dog slipper lady. Uh, I don't believe I've caught your actual name. Have we been formally introduced? My name is Harlan Aldry. 
Berlin. It's a pleasure to meet you. She hopes to cut her hand. My name is Nithkriya. Uh, a pleasure, indeed. Mm. Um, if I may, you seem to have quite powerful magics about you. With a very, uh, how to put it, fine, of course, uh, peculiar way of manifesting them. And he's going to, for a moment, just hold up one of the, the dog slippers that he was resurrected with, them on his feet. Oh, yes. What are these things? Oh, uh, well, those aren't my creation, but they are someone else's creation somewhere in Astra Lenore. Um, but they are slippers that you put on your feet. Uh, they just made them into this unique shape uh, for, you know, for fun. Ah, so this is not some sort of noble house's in, uh, hound insignia. This is merely a decorative dog. Correct. It's a decorative dog uh, that you can wear on your feet. Uh, super comfortable, right? Um, but yes, uh, and they make them in other things too. Uh, one is a a piece of a, like a piece of thin bread with with some vegetables in it and meat. Um, Another is, um, it's kind of like a, a, a ship, and it has a, a sail on the end. Um, another is, just looks like a house cat. <laughs> a house cat, you say? Yes. In Austral and all? Uh, yes, yes. Interesting, yes. The Harlan kind of pull out a notebook and make a little <laughs> quick jotted down note. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Uh, my thanks. Uh, this is Markov speaking now. Uh, is it possible for me to get three more pairs? If you'd like, you may have these. No, your feet were in them. That's gross. Uh, <laughs> can I have three more fresh pairs? Uh, I'm not sure that they're all, uh, that look exactly like that. I think I have maybe have one more pair like that. The other two might be something else, but would be a similar comfortable level, uh, um, I can go and look. Oh, the the shape doesn't matter to me. I would just okay. like three more of those slippers, if you Wonderful. don't mind. Absolutely, absolutely. Because these are super comfy, uh, and I want to yeah. wear them all the time. Sure, sure. And she will wave her hand, and a pair of the hot dog slippers will appear in front of you, as well as one that looked like the house cats, mm -hmm. and one pair that um, that looks like it's it's a taco, um, actually with a little cat head st sticking out <sighs> the the end of it. It's a taco cat. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, he just much. starts chuckling underneath their breath when he says taco cat. <laughs> and um, here's some... Uh, here's is some... that a palindrome? It is a palindrome. He's going to flip it around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, once you try them out, if you wouldn't mind filling out these comment cards and just send them back to me and just let me know how you like them. Make sure the comfort level is up to par. And I'll let are my... You... Are you going to be around for these? Oh, I... I can make sure. I'll find a way to get them. I'm sure I have a room in here somewhere. I'll just leave them on the nightstand uh, with, with the review. Or even uh, if you I... take them with you and just drop them at a post office, and they're already marked. They'll make them. They'll make their way to me. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, I don't mind do, doing a, a little survey type deal. I appreciate deal. it. Thank you. And he'll, he'll, like, tuck it away in his shirt pocket. <sighs> What's Marcon's gonna have? Would you like a slipper? I didn't mean to take all of them. I really like this taco cat one. I'm glad. She just, I will she... let the let the produ let the maker of it know. Okay. A controllable laughter just comes out of Evie at that point. Like she can't hold it in, and she just <laughs> she just she can't. There's too many jokes. I'm keeping I'm keeping the taco cat, but if you want. You can have the regular house cat. It's not as festive. Mm -hmm. no? I like mm, no love. Okay, and then he'll he'll like he'll like tuck them away behind him on the couch. Oh, I didn't even wait. And then he's gonna look at one of the slippers. He's like he's gonna look down at Solomon's feet. It's like yeah, this isn't gonna fit you. Never mind. I wouldn't even worry about it. <laughs> I've been telling them they need to make you know make a size a little bit larger for. Those with larger feet. Um. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Maybe even a way he to just extend them. <laughs> to make the shoe longer by adding a piece onto it and maybe 
having some kind of button system that would make it the shoe longer. Do you know how to do that? I'm sure I can find someone that does. <laughs> Could you extend? Does anybody want the cat slippers? <laughs> yes, uh, if you don't. Uh, I, mine. I, I really just want this taco cat one. Do you want the cat slippers? And he'll like, yes, we'll, like shake them over at Harlan. Harlan will, oh, I prefer will... my cats uh, alive. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's real. Looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> yes, very Not what I meant, love. Not what I meant. <laughs> she just keeps cackling. Nice. Thax will be like, um, I want someone a werewolf. Oh, yes. Do you have anything like that? You want to summon a werewolf? No, no, no. werewolf slippers. Oh, um. No, I don't have any, and uh, I can definitely put in a request. Uh, yes, please to do To see that. if that's possible? Okay. Uh, sure. All right. In the meantime, if I may assist, and he's just going to cast a uh, uh, silent image on the slippers of the hot dogs and make the dogs on the slippers look like slightly more fearsome. Like they have little fangs now, and their hair is much, much rougher. Nice. Oh, that works. Hand them over. Thank you. Takes them. <laughs> See? Easy, right? All right. So I have the cat ones. Markon has the taco cat ones. Oh, 100%. He has none, unfortunately. And Faxel has the werewolf ones. Seems a fair distribution. Evie, are you quite certain you don't oh. desire these? I must say, for their garish appearance, they are quite comfortable. I do, they have, a are pair, so I do comfortable. have a pair of the ship ones that has, like, some sails on the front of it. Yeah, uh, see, Evie, that's on brand. You <laughs> like ships. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Evie, I must say, and he'll narrow his eyes intensely for a moment. I have tried shoes and loafers from the finest cobblers in the entire quadrant. Uh, believe me when I say, these fit divinely. And that padding leaves nothing to be desired. As a matter of fact, Harlan, here, take one of these, and Markon's gonna hand him one of the comment cards. It's like that was a that was a glowing review. I think you should put that put that to paper, my friend. It's wonderful. Yes, quite so. I have to let them know. I'm crying, love. Well, it's just you know you you work so hard. You know I, mean, I didn't make them, but you know I I like seeing products being appreciated and. To see these being appreciated like this, I, I just cannot wait to let them know so that way we can just get them out there to everyone. Oh, oh, oh right, you're so right. sweet. Okay, uh, I'll take a ship pair. Okay. Uh, uh, and she'll wave her hand and a, a, a pair of slippers, uh, nice comfy slippers if you're in front of you with like little like sails on the front of it. <laughs> um, it looks like a ship around the outside and she'll go ahead and have a comment <laughs> card. S slipped into one of the slippers, kind of like sticking out. And there Harlan just kind of jots down Thank on his you, comic card in the meantime, and then would hand it um, to Nithkria. Thank you. Thank you. And it would just, it would read, these slippers are divine and comfortable. Uh, whoever had the idea of putting such a glorious, glorious uh, garment in such a hideous shape uh, should be fired from a cannon. But the slippers themselves are wonderful. I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> Markon will hand back his comment card. <laughs> it'll you. say, it'll say, it looks like a taco cat. I really like that. Also, <laughs> it's very comfy. <laughs> also, it's very, very comfy. Uh, 10 out of 10 would buy, uh, depending on the price, though. Because there is a limit. To, mm. to what I would be paying for these, but they are extremely comfortable. It just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. It's written on the back. Yeah. It's written on the back, yeah. Oh, PPS. No. Evie's going to hand hers over. Uh, she'll reach over Markon and, and hand hers, and it'll say uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Please buy. Don't make the lady cry. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in her bag. <laughs> I'm just glad they're appreciated. <laughs> awesome. All right. And Aethos, like, patiently waiting. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. She's just like, we'll look over to, to Aoife and be like, oh, um, they, 
people comfortable? They needed something comfortable. I understand. Yes. Coming back from the dead. Need all the comfort you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, well, take the evening, the afternoon and evening, and I'll check in with you tonight. Let me know where you wish to go. Um, Solomon, uh, if you, whenever you're ready, see me, and I'm sure we can get you through the Feywild, uh, to the Feywild. Um, and uh, Lynn, yes, you were asking about Atmos Isles, or no? You were just asking if that's what I... Is that where yeah. you wish to go? Yeah. A lovely choice. Yeah. Quite a bit to do there. Rather developed island as these islands seem to go. Yeah. Well, I don't want to leave my brother. Oh, oh of course. Yes, family. Um... Very well. Well, either way, we can stop there. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Well, um, figuring out how to save the world as we know it is busy work. So I'm going to return to that for now. Um, Nithkria, uh, if you find the time today just to uh, uh, help acclimate everyone to the tower's properties, um, sure. guide them through, be their, be their guide... And, and of course, I just moderation, yes? With... Yes, yes, moderation Thank always. Uh, if I... Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, do see me later for your uh, um, studies for the day, of course, next year as well. But see to them we'll first yes. priority. We'll do. Very well. Please uh, make yourselves at home. Do be careful, as Nithgrill will share. Um, the tower has the ability to reshape reality. It's not so much um, your typical magic. So uh, do be careful. Uh, certainly when designing, uh, um, if you're headed to a room, uh, try not to overdo what you feel. Uh, if you feel a strain as you're attempting to create a room, be careful. Things can go awry. Um, mm -hmm. And things can be real and dangerous. So um, Nith Greer will care for you, though. Um, Again, I'm glad you've all returned. And we have uh, great work to do. Um, uh, see me when you're ready. I'll be here. He points to like the control room area. Oh, of course. Good. And thank you again for the hospitality. Of course, of course. Place is cool. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, Lynn's going to turn towards everybody else and give a salute to everybody that she did while they were doing the ritual. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... Bye. And she'll just turn it oh. oh. oh, back. Bye! Bye, Lynn! Saul was going to put his hand up and then put it down. <laughs> Murph will uh, <laughs> nod to the rest of the group and say, I think that's Mark Hume as well. We are about to drink. I'm going to go find it somewhere. He's going to just wander off in the same direction. Okay. Uh, Solomon's going to be looking at Afa expectantly. So the Feywild? Oh, oh, she turns any, back. Any, any chance I could go? Yes. Uh, come right over. We'll use the door over here. We'll see you through. Um, oh. oh, before I go, I'm, I, I won't be so, so callous as the others. He's going to be like, Lord Markon, of course. And he's going to, like, furiously shake his hand. Uh, can't wait to see you in, in the future. For sure. For sure. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and, and he's going to walk up to everybody and say, and, and your name is, is, is Evie? Hi. He's going to grab her hand and be like, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Heard a couple of things about you. And Harlan! And he's going to go over to Harlan and say, I know you don't know me. My name is Solomon. It's good to meet you and goodbye. Of course. Uh, I'm sure it was a pleasure in our brief acquaintance. And then uh, uh, Solomon's going to go over to Maeve if she's in the room, Maeve and Thaxel, and like scoop them up in a bear hug. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. Like, oh, it was it was fun. He's going to whisper in their ear, that was fun. Because he, cause he, cause he doesn't want Aphid to know. <laughs> like, that was fun. And he's going to let them go. 
And it's like, all right, y'all. And then he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna turn around and then uh, walk through the door. Oh, okay. Hi. All right. Um, Axel, take care of your earrings. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, fine. Wonderful work. Hey, Carolyn. Thank you for, you know, um, assisting a great me with uh, making the poisons. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maeve, thank you. Oh, dear, please. Just like don't so mention awkward. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take care. Take Nith- care. Miss. Miss Korea? Yes, that's it. Uh, uh, she kind of freezes for about five seconds before she answers and her face gets really red. If you're ever back here, uh, and she puts her head down while she's talking because she's like really nervous, uh, um, we should have lunch. We should, yes. That sounds really, that sounds really nice. And I think your business endeavors would go, and she's like mumbling and stuttering through this, would go well where I'm from. Um, yeah. Uh, Thank you, um, Lynn. And she gets still again and looks up and gives her a salute and welcome. And then she'll walk away and try not to trip over her feet. <laughs> Here's my hero. Nice friends. Interesting. I didn't get a chance to talk to the other two, but you know Solomon's all right. Got to know where to where to point him at. You know, he's a man Solomon of focus. Definitely Indeed. seemed interesting. <laughs> oh, he seemed kind of annoying. Yeah, he can go. He he gets to be a little annoying. The, the religious <laughs> stuff is it can it can be a little too much. He's he's fanatical, if you will. Uh, the other one seems a bit jumpy. Furry one. Nah. Yeah. The bad she, like, Lays her head down and like kind of snoozes for a couple minutes. <laughs> oh. Uh, Nithgria. Yes. Now, I know this isn't your job, and this is me Mm -hmm. just simply asking a question. Sure. Are there any drinks in this room, and can I have some? Oh, Oh. his head goes straight back up. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. Um, sure. Uh, she'll wave her hand, and a cart will appear with a bunch of different, different drinks on it. Oh, the strongest one you have, love. Yeah, are these alcoholic beverages? Oh, yes. I'm gonna pick up the bottles. Okay, okay, (laughs) thank you. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you want non-alcoholic, I can get that too. But oh, I think absolutely you're not. asking for a drink is usually oh, no. <laughs> means that you want something alcoholic. So okay, Nithgria, thank you so much. You're welcome. That. And he's gonna he's gonna pour himself a glass of whiskey. He's gonna like hold it like close to him and say, "I'm I'm sorry, Ava. I know you were explaining something, but you oh, know. here I I actually have something that you might like." Uh, she points to Markon. She'll wave her hand. And around your neck will appear uh, something that has like a little um, holder on it that will that you can adjust to hold a whiskey glass, so you won't have to sit there and hold it. And it hangs around your neck, like a la- where, like a where, lanyard. Where do you get these incredible things? And he's gonna like he's gonna Different like put people. the glass in there. And then wait, wait, can I lift it up without touching it, or does it just rest there? No, it just rests there. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. I was gonna be very lazy and just have this. <laughs> Like a like a like a like, like a, a lift. platform lift up and then tilt the whiskey into my mouth and then come back down. <laughs> You're really good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way you won't have to sit there and hold it, or if you stand up, you don't have to worry about holding it. You can just let it sit there. Nithgria, do you have another one of those uh, comment cards? Oh yes, absolutely. And she'll oh. like wave and one more. Oh, he just rolls her eyes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Love, do you mind if I have a bottle of your strongest whiskey? Oh, sure, absolutely. Pick from the cart. Feel free. Oh, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. She'll actually pick two bottles from the cart <laughs> and then come back to the table. Oh, sure. Pops a cork and starts sipping on one. 
Uh, Markon's mm-hmm. gonna hand back the comment card to, to Nithgria. He's gonna be like, here you go. Thank you. Uh, on the comment card, it'll say, this is possibly one of the best inventions that I've ever seen. Uh, the only thing that I will say is maybe put like an arcane motor in there so it goes up and tilts into your mouth. That's the only critique I have. This is fantastic and my hands are warm, not cold from this whiskey that I've put this ice in. <laughs> it says all that on the card. Oh, <laughs> it says all that on the card. Verbatim. That's an excellent, that's an excellent idea, Markon. I, have, you, have you ever invented products before? Absolutely not, no. I'm typically in the business of breaking things. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever want to change businesses, I mean, I think you might have something here. Like a good eye for it? Yeah, like a good eye for um, how to improve things. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, because if it just came up and tilted, again. fantastic. Greatest invention I've ever seen. That's that's an excellent, and she'll take out her pen and like put a check mark beside of it, and we'll definitely follow that away. Oh, sorry, sorry again, Ava. I'm, I'm just these these products are just fantastic. Um, was Ava still in the room? We'll, we'll say she's oh, she around. Not, she no, not we'll there. say oh. she's there. And I'm, I'm quite all right. Yes, I understand. <laughs> you see, she's ill. So, you know, like it was a she'll process hear, to get to you, right? Later. But this cake was like part of the package. So she's like, right, right, right. Yeah, no, yeah. it's all right. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> goes back to fidgeting with her stuff. Oh, can I do anything for you, Aifa? Do you need any assistance with anything right now, or are you um, good? For right now, I'm all right. I, I have to get okay. uh, caught up in matters. Please, um, just tend to them uh, for now, uh, if sure. you would. Definitely. Yes, yes. Well, thank you. Just, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she casts, like, nine different mage hands and begins, like, operating things around the room. Mm-mm. Ooh. Alan, love, would you like this other bottle of whiskey? I would love a whiskey right now, to be honest. Oh, it has been... Well, I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but... Um, Marcon, do you recall when you told me about your first death? You told me you found it quite peaceful. At first, yeah. Some some weird some weird stuff tap happened after I died. Not the first time. The first time, I was just kind of suspended, and it felt really good. It felt like I was in water, but I couldn't feel anything. But it felt like I was floating. I don't know if that makes sense. Indeed. Yeah, it was probably can, the best piece I've ever felt. I can picture it in my head, but I must say, I. I hated it. It was a miserable experience being dead, and I don't wish to repeat it at any point in the future. If I were to never die again, I would... Well, I would be a happy man. I understand. I guess everybody experiences death a little different, because the second time, things got very, very strange. At least you're uh, not ripped in half, and she'll hand the other bottle of whiskey towards Harlan. He'll take it gratefully. And kind of swig back like a dangerously large amount of it mm-hmm. in one bowl. Just kind of shake his head and with a kind of shaking hand put it back down on the table beside him and just immediately pick it up and down the rest. I think that whiskey may be the greatest developed invention of the civilized world. Now I've heard you say a lot of smart things, Harlan. Aye, aye. <laughs> that might have been the smartest thing you've ever said. <laughs> and Markov's gonna take a very deep sip of his whiskey as well. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh man. Wait. Were we all together or were we split up during death? Do we all have our own experiences? Because I my experience was weird. You know what? If y'all wanna roll um Percentile dies. Let's see like how much you. Weird. Yeah, remember. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and tight death. 
Oh, Markon, Markon has like a light shirt on and you don't see them anymore. They're not. Oh, I, I was making a joke about you. Oh, know. okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, you said a percentile die? Yeah, yeah. if you would. Mm -hmm. D100. Oh. And we'll see how everyone says. Oh, shit. I got 100. Oh, okay. I don't know. What, you remember I don't know your what that experience means. perfectly. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what that means. Oh, I remember it perfectly? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. something for that. A 60. Okay, you were, it's a little foggy, but you remember being with the others and the uh, it being very crowded and being a sort of a, a foggy state. Uh, those are the things that you'd remember, Evie uh, and Harma. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, Harma, you... Yeah, so you remember being uh, around Mark Hunt and Evie and... You remember it being super duper crowded and just a very like there's nothingness except for all these people and Mark on an EV and a foggy state of mind clouds everything else. I don't like people. All I remember was that moment of passing as I stared into the metallic maw of that creature, thinking what a bloody fucking waste this all was to die to this mechanical hound. I say, when we have a chance to have words with whoever created that thing, I should like an opportunity to speak with them. Do yeah. stab them? As far as dying goes, that was the most embarrassing way that I've died, and I've died twice. That was probably the most embarrassing way. Yeah. We got killed by metal dogs, you guys. We weren't even supposed to be there. Let that let that sink in for a second. He's gonna take another sip of his whiskey. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna start like downing the bottle and get about halfway. Just He's gonna swish it around a little bit. He's like, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Did not expect to die like that. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to make a bet that I was gonna die from metal dogs. And and you said that you would have been right. I would have called you a damn fool, but here we are. Just upset that I lost all my stuff. Yeah. Oh, you're upset. Eva had so much money on me. You have no idea. I'm super upset. Aww. I'm so broke now. It's That's been nice. it's been so long. That's nice. She didn't have money. Uh, take mm, his she's same. being sarcastic. I know. <laughs> Marco doesn't have the energy. He's just like, all right. <laughs> He's just leaning back in his chair. Oh, apparently, your stupid ship is here. Oh, our stupid ship is here. Aye, aye. Oh, that's right. That's right. That ship is ours. No, no. Mm -mm. He's going to like doze off for a little bit. So let's... I can't wait I to mind get back. Place right now. Can't wait to get back on our ship. <laughs> She'll, she'll reach a hand over and like bump underneath the cup that is in his holder mm -hmm. so that it <laughs> splashes a little bit of whiskey on him. <laughs> he's going to he's going to lap back. it up off his face like He's just gonna, he's just gonna start. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just siphoning whatever's on his face. So just into go his back mouth. and just pout. <laughs> awesome. Um, a whiskey shower. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> nice. You do hear notice uh, Augustus um, is just scurrying about the floor back and forth among all of you, each of you. I'm just kind of excited to have um, the other friends back. I'll share a little Augustus picture in case you haven't seen it in a while. Um, little Cerberus Orgy. Uh, Marcon will reach down and start petting Augustus. Like, I didn't think I'd miss you, mm. you, you ugly, ugly mutt. You're so <laughs> sweet, though. <laughs> One of them growls. <laughs> and, uh, the other two, like, <laughs> all excited. <laughs> just, uh,. Nice. So cute. <laughs> I thought you would have gotten bigger. I guess you weren't dead for very long, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of which, how long were we dead? That is a good question. Uh, Saxel will probably jump in. Or I guess Maeve, right? Maeve would probably know a little bit better. They'd probably both say something. Saxel, oh, I don't know. A, a while. Um, weeks, maybe? Something like that? Um, hmm. I was busy, like, you know, doing important things. 
and 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 Maeve. Uh, yes, um, I would say three weeks for three three and a half weeks or so. No longer than that. Oh, that's not very long at all. Here, I thought we were gone for months. Uh -huh. oh, feels <laughs> like months. No, we, we finished our business and um, did everything, procured the goods to uh, <laughs> safely return you here. Oh, okay. That's funny. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Marcos is gonna, gonna giggle. <laughs> we'll fill you in a, a little bit later. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. My ship, uh, where's it at? Oh, thanks, old nose. Um, well, uh, it's a docked in a pier, uh, on the water in a different level. It may still have some dog shit on it, um, but I have nothing to do with that. But, uh, I saw it. I can probably open up that floor. Maybe. Yes, Just... please. You just can't take care of anything, can you, Daxel? Just leave shit all over the ship. Mm -hmm. While we're while we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was doing I had important things to do. I was a major component in our plan. And uh, I was I was just busy. Fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, and then uh Markon's gonna like get up very wearily. It's like you're ready to go see our ship, Evie? See what the damage is. <laughs> he has a passing thought of smashing the bottle on the side of his head, but then she doesn't, and she just grabs the bottle and downs the rest of it and puts it on the table, and, uh... Hmm. I... My ship. It, it's okay. You're just not used to saying ours yet. That's fine. We'll, we'll get there. Oh, yes, the crew. What's, what's happening? Can I come and see the ship? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, for sure. Do you, do you have a problem with that, Evie? It's <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. The visual. She's... <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. I so love that that whole thing went down so that we're kind of part ownership because this. Dynamic back and forth with it is amazing. <laughs> hmm. oh. Yes, love. Let's go. Oh, Nithkria, I have a quick question before we go see the ship. Yes. Do you have anything with dog shit cleaning technology on your list? Um, I'm sure we could do something. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't, isn't Augustus Maeve's dog? Maeve's already walking into the other room. <laughs> <laughs> she can use, she can use magic. Go. Can Here, Augustus. She, <laughs> she calls him over here. <laughs> like, who knows what kind of stains like baby Cerberus turds leave, you know? Ugh. Is it a permanent skid mark? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> permanent skid mark. That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> that that little jumps up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna open up a. I'll be out here. <laughs> she opens. She goes into the other room there and opens up the uh, stairwell down to the ship, the dock, on the beach. Ocean air, you know that that ocean set and then wafts up from the the stairwell. I'm assuming everyone um, climbs down. There's some extra rail, uh, easily graspable rail, as you it's been go down. Years. <laughs> nice, nice. It's been three weeks since you, buddy. <laughs> okay. You, you come out on a beach that has um, rather dark sand. It's a, almost a grayish sand instead of tan. It's a very cloudy, overcast uh, sky, diffuse light through some gray and white clouds that just go on over the horizon. The beach runs about um, 110 feet from where the stairwell comes down, and, and on the beach you see a uh, the planks of a dock that runs out a good 60 feet or a good 100 feet or so, where the ship is sidled up beside it, docked. Um, you're looking at the back of the ship that says the Black Death. 
um, a plaque across the rear of the ship. Augustus Damn, I thought they anywhere. would have. <laughs> Evie, did you think they'd use this for like kindling? At one point? My mind immediately went there. I'm like, damn, they can't take care of anything. Yeah, thanks. I thought, I thought kind of looks over, over like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so who owns the ship? Mark on, I'll raise his hand. <laughs> <laughs> they raise their hands and look at one another. So you both, you both own the ship together. Yeah, co ownership. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. My ship yeah. first. Uh, it, it was hers first. That That is true. Okay. Then, you know, I invested in uh, getting the ship back a hefty amount of money. So it's oh. half mine. Yeah. She's still the captain, though. That is that is undisputable. Captain but she's co-owner. Hi. Got it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how, do, how do you feel about that, Evie? Clearly, love. I don't like it. Understandable. I mean, mm -hmm. what's the difference, Evie? You make all the decisions for the ship. You know? Because you, I don't know anything about ships. What was ships? that decision back there? Like, tr she was asking about seeing the ship, and then you're like, yes? That's not a but technical that... ship thing. That's just her looking at the ship. Technic clack. Technicalities <laughs> be damned. <laughs> nice, nice. She's just, she's just looking at the ship. <laughs> But <laughs> Augustus goes running by you on the beach over to the ship. Hey, hey, oh, you little hey, shit. Don't poop in there. <laughs> <laughs> poop on the beach. <laughs> oh, I, I brought with me uh, this, and she'll bring out this, like, tub, and it says on that waste terminator. And if I, if I sprinkle this on the poop, it should disintegrate. Now... Is it is it just poop or would it disintegrate anything underneath it? No, I think it's just poop. Oh. You want to try it? Kind of like a di Captain? digestive powder. Oh. Bacteria? Uh, no, digestive. Uh, like you know, like what? How your stomach processes food? Oh. Oh. Right. Well, supposedly, uh, that's the way it's supposed to work. We can try it. Okay, uh, yeah, and she'll start hobbling to the. Uh, Mark the Mark will help her. Because <laughs> they, they're going to have to, like, hobble on each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maeve will probably uh, extend, an, uh, like, an elbow, an arm extended to Harlan if he wants uh, the assistance. Harlan would uh, accept the help, and he would also, uh, during this conversation, have cast uh, Invisible Servant and summoned the Invisible Servant to hold his drink for him. Ooh. Hey! Drink being held fancy. steady. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can come. Yeah, that's. Mm. The sand can be tricky. Uh... All right. Now Dax is like, all right, come on. And walks over to the ship. <laughs> Augustus took up the gangplank ahead of you all um but uh, upon inspection as you you arrive um the sea is calm with just soft lulling waves crashing lightly on the beach um you're able to go up the gangplank and see that uh, the poop is still there um however augustus doesn't seem to have any current need to do any any business on the ship just running around excitedly um the ship How appears much to be poop good. is there? No pooping on my uh, ship. It's, uh, I mean, let's see. Three dogs eating. Uh, <laughs> three dog heads eating. Um, I'm going to say it's probably like um, an early teenager amount of poop. I don't know how to measure this. <laughs> oh, so, oh, metric, oh, we're parents. Poop time. talk. All right, let's go. <laughs> Barkov's going to turn around and kind of like <laughs> glare at Daxel and be like, you couldn't clean this shit up. <laughs> oh, it's just um, been sitting here. Uh, well, we've. We, uh, <laughs> she's just gonna trail off. <laughs> <laughs> just... Why? Oh God. Yeah, we can try some of this, uh, and she'll start like, like, uh. kind of like shaking out some of this like weird sand-looking <laughs> digester stuff. See, now, 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 this group can test things. 
It, it's all worked out. It's it's fine. <laughs> My ship disintegrates, love. You owe me a new no, one. No, 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 no. It's not going to disintegrate the ship. Just the poop. Okay. Oh. All right. Sorry. I'm just. Mm. May I ask There's a, a question? There's a lot writing on my ship. Would it not be simpler to just do this? And he's going to look down and cast Prestidigitate to just get rid of the shit. Go on. Sure, but now I can't see if the product works. Well, but that's okay. That's fine. She'll like Maybe put like... <laughs> wait for Augustus to lay down some more logs. Okay. All right. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds good. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Technically, you could press the digitate poop back if you were so inclined. You can soil an object. Yeah, you can oh, rewind. You can rewind. Oh, the <laughs> eyebrow and just say, do, "Do you truly wish this back?" I assumed most folk would prefer less shit in there. No, no, it's fine. I just don't. I haven't got a chance to test this yet um, because we don't have a lot of poop around in the tower, you know. Uh, so I mean, unless I. Anyways, um, so without going to drastic measures, I thought this would be a good opportunity. Um, but we can just wait for Augustus to poop again. And I'm Wait. sure it will be soon. Sure. Yeah. I don't poop. No, no, I poop. Yes, but I mean, I don't poop on the floor. Yeah, she's not just going to shit on the floor. You of course could if you wish to test your product, so... I mean, I could, yes. I mean... That's kind of the last resort. I mean, it was kind of the last thing on my checklist of <laughs> testing the products. You know, poop on the floor, but uh, it would you know. have the desired effects. It'd be gross, but it'd be the you know, it's still poop on the floor. I mean, you know, and it'd be a lot more probably than a dog. <laughs> so if it worked on that, then <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So ship tour. Hmm. Right. She'll just keep hobbling along next to Park God. Amazing. I. Mark mm -hmm. uh, God's <laughs> gonna be like, "What are the names of the places on these ships, Evie? So, what's the head called?" Your mom. Oh, really? Is it is it is it actually called your mom? Is that a nautical term? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad to be back? Oh, oh. <laughs> God, I'm dying. That's amazing. <laughs> and then, and then, Markon's gonna look at Myth Korea, it's like, "This is your mom," and he's just gonna point out where. It's... No. <laughs> That's what it's called, right, Evie? Your mom. <laughs> said, I never knew my mom, so that's that's kind of nice. I'm... Hmm. Evie loses it. <laughs> Glorious name for a seafaring vessel, I will say. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the your mom part of the deck? Or is that called something else? Well, Not your mom's clue. looking fine. Right? Looking your, mom, your, mom, your mom's looking real cleaned up right now. Looking at the really table. good. I should have all the poop gone. Sorry, <laughs> All the poop's gone off your mom. <laughs> off it's looking pristine i i think your mom has never looked better it really hasn't yeah it's i think so gleaming. Uh, it's shiny kind of is. i do apologize that the dog shat on your mom but these yeah. things it is unfortunate. we need to like uh, we need like a three-headed leash <laughs> for for poor Augustus, he's, he's <laughs> everywhere, no oh control. Makes, oh, he's he's learning. And uh, Augustus, if if you need to do your business, go on the beach. Yes, on the beach. Three-headed <laughs> leash. Does he understand you? Oh, I think he's coming around, doing some training. Okay. We'll see. I suppose this will be a good test. Have you been reading books? They make books about training, about training, uh, dogs. The dog at least it... poop on the poop deck. <laughs> um, there is a poop deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, for I forgot about that part. This is why you're the captain, Evie. I don't know what you're about shit. So how long have you owned this ship? I believe y'all took... <laughs> why does y'all... Evie does not say y'all. Sorry, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Um... 
So she's going to point out to like the front part and um, the back parts of the ship and the captain's quarters. And she'll be like, that's the hull, that's the, the bow, that's the poop deck, that's the helm, the stern. And she'll just give a thorough tour of, you know, that's mast and sails mm. and, you know. Markon's going to co-sign everything she says. <laughs> <laughs> Everything she just said, Mark, I was like, mm -hmm. "Yep, yeah, that's it right there." Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's the that's the poop deck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing you take away from it, too. <laughs> that's beautiful. Your mom. Got it. <laughs> That's so great. Your mm. mom is the poop deck. The names are interchangeable, though. Oh. Why? Wait, are they not? So Never just... mind. She'll, she'll just... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. That's... Wait a minute. Your mom is a poop deck? Yes, your mom is. And he'll say that's a deck. So... Nice, nice. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, and then, but no, just create all seriousness. This is called the poop deck. It's not your mom. She's, oh, okay. Uh, he was being an asshole. Poop deck. It's okay. Got it. <laughs> Do people poop on the deck? Is that what? I mean, where else are we gonna poop? True. <laughs> Some, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he really is struggling to keep a straight face at this, and in fact, <laughs> turn away for a moment and just put his. Yeah, his face and kind of massage his temples. <laughs> yes, of course. The poop deck where you poop. The temporal pincher. Yeah, the temporal pincer <laughs> off the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I dub oh. poop deck your mom. Yay! <laughs> Beautiful. Well, oh thankfully, ship seems to be fairly intact. You do see Augustus run down the gangplank after a little bit. And um, does a poo in the beach in oh, case Nick has her hands for that. If he's walking out on the plank, never mind. <laughs> oh, Nick <Nithkria. laughs> now now's the time. Oh yes, let me let me test the product. So she'll go out to the beach and okay. and shake some of this like sand looking stuff onto oh. it. Uh, uh, Markon is going to excitedly follow her to see what happens. <laughs> Augustus is just sitting next to the poop, like looking up, watching, like, "Hey, I left this for you." Yeah. Uh, and then, like, Thank wait, you. what are you doing with my poop? Like, so, so I rolled a d twenty to see how well the product worked, Dan, and I got a six. So, mm. not. Mm. It's gonna turn it from like a solid poo into like a liquid poo. Oh, oh. no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh oh. <laughs> That's well, I didn't go sex. down to watch. I guess I need to try that on the deck then. That's probably Harlan. Harlan you did good a good call. thing. Yeah. Um, mark this one for... off. <laughs> this is a bad product. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Did, did it just turn it into soup? Yeah, oh I, think it, I think it did. I mean, not soup? edible oh, soup. No. I wouldn't eat it. I'm not going to eat that. I'm no, that just came out of Augustus' ass. I don't want that. And just, and just, just destroying it. it. Just oh, no. it aside. <laughs> yep, that's, that's a big no for that one. Well, this is why it's important to test, test such things. I, I think that's quite admirable. Oh, thank you. The imaginative poop soup got on your mom? Oh, no. You don't need to elaborate. <laughs> uh, I'm quite comfortable without the concept of poop soup in my existence. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, poop soup. That's going to be the name of this episode for sure. <laughs> Your mom's a poop dick. In fact, speaking of which, does anybody have more whiskey? Uh, I could use quite a dram after hearing that combination of words. We have some inside, but... Let me see if there's any left over in the... And she'll look straight at Thax on the captain's quarters. Ooh. Yeah. He's got the good stuff in there. She didn't raid the liquor cabinet while we were dead. That's why I'm she looked at Thaxel, because she doesn't know if she did or not, yeah. so she's gonna go look. I can't <laughs> believe she had the restraint. <laughs> and not drink of all the booze. We go check, love, and she'll she'll go and hobble back and mm -hmm. and uh, go through the door and like check the the liquor cabinet okay. and stuff and see if she has or not. I'll check with Tasha, but I believe she had considered it, 
but was missing Evie enough where she was like, no, wait till she gets back. I know oh, that she took it, the it, absent. I think I think she just took the absent. Yeah, oh, she didn't take anything else. Okay, all right. The absent. That was a trip. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, she'll uh, grab a bottle and go on the deck and kind of go like this to like wave at everybody. Mm. Aye, aye. The whole stash here. Oh, goodness. And Harlan will kind of uh, lean on his invisible servant, but it has a strength of one, so it just kind of immediately sags down. And he goes, well, on second thought, why don't you go fetch a glass? And he'll hand uh, his whiskey glass to the invisible servant. Nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, Markon will take his glass off of the apparatus around his neck and, and put it down on the tiny servant. It's like, me as well. Top me off there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the general area that the other glass is floating? Uh, collect. And <laughs> or if Harlan is... wills it, it'll it'll collect it. And, uh... <laughs> <sighs> she nice. gives a big sigh when the servant comes, just like, oh, lazy bastards, and she'll <laughs> Top off Harlan just gives a thumbs up from like ten feet away, like not even. <laughs> uh, Markon said, "Evie, that's why you're number one." Suck it. She mumbles underneath her breath, and um, can the unseen servant hold more? It has a strength of one, so it's probably struggling to carry. All right, so it. she'll just nice. top it off and then have it go back, and then she'll go into the, the cabinet again and take out like... Um, Nithria is going oh. to cast a uh, mage hand to, uh -huh. to help out carry some stuff. Oh, okay. And Nithria, um, your mage hand is actually the oh, Ledgerman's? Is that it? Uh, so it carries like 50 pounds and can do a bunch of stuff. Great. Oh, Beef nice! Beef nice. hand! Nice. Um, <laughs> it's a very feminine looking hand, too. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Uh, she'll, uh, grab, like, let's see, there's what? Axel's gr grab a bottle or two for me. <laughs> she'll just grab ten bottles. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clang, 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 clang. <laughs> If we're gonna black out, we might as well do it in the Omega Tower. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> At least we're in a safe location. I hope. Oh yes, Omega Tower is always safe. <laughs> and the last time we were here was not safe. Well, not the uh, last time. The, oh, the few happened? times ago. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Get him drunk enough, he might spill it. Yeah, there's some business we had to handle. It's, it's 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 ancient history, kind of. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure if you ask Afa, she'll tell you all about it. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sending you a quick message, Steph. You don't have to do anything with this, but it just clicked for okay. me. So. All right. Evie's gonna actually, like, she'll put the 10 bottles on the mage hand, and then she'll grab, like, three extra in her hands before hobbling really slowly mm. back to everybody else. Uh, Markon would help her out with a few of the bottles so she's not carrying all of them. Because they, they got about the same strength right now. <laughs> yeah, she'll yeah. keep uh, she's like keeping the mage slow. hand out. Yeah. So. Slow mo. <laughs> Harlan will will make a show of kind of like offering to help and then being like, oh no, sorry, quite exhausted. Uh, you oh, look like you're fine. having we a good this. job. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Well, we know the ship's okay. No. Now, uh, Dan, did it look like it needed any repairs, like outside of the poop <clears throat> being there? Uh, no, it actually looks like it's in in pristine condition. You you do notice that. Um, <clears throat> you recall that it was going to be outfitted for some of the arcane crystals but um Afa had ordered that stuff and then had to bounce and came back to just scoop you up so she wasn't able to go through the proper channels to get that stuff so um okay. you see maybe some materials uh off on the beach that looked like uh the um <clears throat> metal fasteners that would have housed this arc these arcane crystals 
but they're just off on the side, kind of in their packaging still. Okay. Okay, that's something we can go back and get later on. Mm. Say so they don't—they don't know what our faces look like. We died early. Mm. <laughs> mm. Go, go back, and get our stuff. <laughs> We're like, this is all, no, what happens? Yeah. Wow. It's so like, so horrible here. <laughs> if I may pose a bit of a morbid question. Uh, did you recover our actual corpses? Or are they still laying about somewhere rotting? So That's actually a great question. I would like um, to have my necklace Fortunately, back. um, no, Markarn, you were torn into a few pieces. Oh, you lost your limb, I believe, and then you were thrown into the Omega Sea. Um, we had to use oh. some scoopings of a uh, prior encounter um, to bring you back oh harlan you were un unfortunately I, I tried to bring some of you with me and leave but the spell didn't work with the teleportation issues i, I was forced to simply leave yes i'm sorry i was unable to get anyone's true remains well that merely adds another objective to our to-do list which is of course uh, securing and burning my corpse. I quite dislike the idea of a rotting carcass of mine laying about somewhere in the world. Is it safe to say, uh, if my body fell into the Omega Curtain, mm. it was completely and utterly destroyed? Uh, most uh, certainly. Okay, that's fine. That's actually that's actually a pretty cool way to die. To shreds, in fact. I, I would wager that there's little more than a thread left. Markon's like hardcore. That's a good way to die. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't feel that part. I do remember that. I do remember that dog mauling me to death, though. That was very unfortunate. Uh, Indeed. Yeah. I'm, I'm picturing <laughs> all this unfolding. Yeah, in your slippers is just an extra funny oh, yeah, element to me. Like, <laughs> he just has his taco, his taco cat slippers on. He's just like, yeah, that was wild. I uh, died. <laughs> these metal dogs. What were they? I've never seen them before. Yeah, that is an excellent question, Nithkria. As far us. as I can tell, they were the product of some sort of artifice, though you'd be hard-pressed to figure out quite where they originated from to look at them. Uh, quite good at biting and screaming. In fact, the scream was the most obnoxious part. A high magic somewhere in there. No mere automata. These were enchanted beings. Like Aww. screams that shattered our eardrum screams. Pretty bad. That's strange. Yes, I'm in no serious hurry to encounter them again. I wonder who made them. We An excellent question. Excellent, yeah. We have no idea who made them. Sounds pretty advanced, Nithria. Something that you might be able to understand if you were to get your hands on it, but sure. you, you yeah. know, as they describe any details. Yeah, that's it. what I figured. Huh. Hmm. Definitely something to keep an eye out for. You said that was around close? Yeah, I don't remember out of character what the name of that like port area was called, but Harlan would relay that mm, the port and the city of relias i think we were jokingly calling it like the not not the airport but <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the flying port or something to do it with, with it was okay. it was sky. um it was like the sky dock yeah <laughs> yeah yeah the sky dock <laughs> sky Perfect. daddies there it is <laughs> well, here's hoping you don't encounter them again because it sounds terrifying indeed us uh, I'm normally not afraid of anything, but that was... I did not expect to die like that. <laughs> not, not in the slightest, yeah. <sighs> well, uh, shall we go back in the tower, or...? Yeah. Okay, you, what, do you, what do you think about the ship, though? You think you think she's she's all right? I, uh, do you mind if I have a few minutes on the beach and I'll join you guys in a few? Some alone time. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Markon's going to take, like, two bottles from her and leave her with one. I'm taking these, though. 
I just gave you ten bottles and a top. That's fair. He'll give them back. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Thaxel, um, <clears throat> walking is going to walk next to Evie. You know, um, there was uh, the question going round about burning your ship. Um, you know, giving like a proper burial. Uh, but thankfully, um, cooler heads prevailed, and it's here and in good shape. Uh, <laughs> um, so you're welcome. Wow. Thank you. Lovely. Congratulations. You've done the bare minimum of not destroying our property <laughs> while we were dead. Wait. I'd appreciate it. Daxel, can I ask you a question? Thank you, Harlan. Yeah. Daxel, can I ask you a quick question? Maybe. Who the hell proposed to burn the ship? Uh, I, I can't quite remember. <laughs> Um, it's can, I do, can, I, can I do an inside check? Yeah, <laughs> yeah please, please, yeah. <laughs> 17. Okay, I don't... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can tell that she remembers it, that she meant that she brought that up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Axel, um, I don't know. The way you answered that question, it seems like you know more than you're telling. It's just, it's hard to think. I, I just, um, miss Evie so much. You, you miss her so much you're going to turn her prized possession into kindling. Uh, I, well, I do remember someone saying, um, out of respect for, for Evie's, uh, bright, hot, burning life, that perhaps we could give her a proper, you know, a flaming burial at sea since we didn't have her body and I thought hmm, that sounds kind of wise um, but thankfully uh, <laughs> um, mm, thankfully it's still here <laughs> Evie, is that something you would have wanted? no but uh, where I come from love it's what pirates do Pirate but you wouldn't have wanted it to burn. When we die, our ship goes with us. Were you going to do that if it wasn't going to work, love? A ritual. Maybe. Can't lie to me. Okay, Ari, right, listen. So I just thought it might be what you wanted. And, there we go. Um, okay. Mm, yeah, it's, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> um, right. Yes, yes. I just I thought it might be what you wanted, and wanted to honor you and your memory. Um, this didn't work. Didn't wouldn't feel right to see the ship in someone else's hands. It was out of the kindness of your heart. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm, what am I but full of kindness? Indeed. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Marcon's gonna just grab a couple <laughs> bottles off of the cart and like walk away with them. <laughs> just shake his head. <laughs> Evie's gonna <laughs> nod her head in appreciation towards Thaxel. Oh. Thank you, love. Good to have you back, Evie. <laughs> Don't leave me again. <sighs> Not like that, I will. Okay. Well, let's get something to drink. Right. Uh, I'll be up in a few minutes. Axel will head up. And Maeve and uh, Augustus. Uh, Mark on will head up with everybody else as well. Give uh, Evie your space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Harlan will, will also give a respectful distance. So he will mutter under his breath as they leave so good job they didn't burn it I imagine it would be quite a bit harder to bring back than we were I don't know how you're going to resurrect a ship <laughs> okay, just build a new one <laughs> I would have been pissed but it's understandable right <clears throat> she'll plop down and sit down on the on the beach and uh, pop open 
a bottle and it'll actually be like a smaller bottle instead of like the larger one that they had earlier and oh, okay. uh she'll actually finish it off and down it and um she'll she's going to test something real quick because uh um so she's going to try to break the bottle if she can if if there are rocks along the beach or anything like that if it's set up almost to be exactly like a port or you, you know what i mean um if she's gonna break the bottle and she's going to just cut the tip of her finger to try something out real quick to see if something works uh right uh Mm -mm. Why is it not working? You've got blood. Trip. Trip. I'm a lay. Why is it not working? I don't feel anything. Hmm. What's going on? Can you roll a quick percentile die for me, but. I'm gonna roll on to see how close we get. We'll just we can touch. <laughs> and that one. Oh, that's Seventy. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, got a sixty-five, so that's pretty close. Not uh, sixty-nine. <laughs> pretty simple. <simplest. laughs> uh, <laughs> so you um as you're thinking that you're praying that the waves pick up, you know, by the ship. Oh, the tide itself seems to, to draw higher up onto the beach, um, washing over your feet. And, and you are kind of slammed with some imagery. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, almost overlapping the reality that you're seeing around you. And you are seeing um, your death again. You're reliving your death. <laughs> Images flashing and the sounds and the scents. Uh, the dog barking and growling, a uh, mechanical dog, and, and, and chewing away at you, um, just in half, chewing straight through you. Um, and then doo, 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 we get some more slammed images of um, <clears throat> being reassembled uh, later in, in the ritual and um, feeling this, this true sense of a fresh start. Uh, you can tell that everything you knew before was, in fact, destroyed that day. And upon your return, a new lot was chosen for you, or perhaps by you, it's unclear. Um, <clears throat> and you are you, but some of those fundamentals are different in this new version of you. As the flashbacks and stuff are going on, she's like covering her ears and just like closing her eyes and, and just like standing, uh, sitting still. And when it ends, she'll kind of like fall back onto like on her back a little bit okay. from the, being overwhelmed mm -hmm. by it all. Mm -hmm. And she'll just like lay there and just. <sighs> right. Uh... I can't, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't understand. How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to find them? The water comes in a little further and almost picks you up, scoops you up. Um, really sends the tide in to give you, you've, Float a little bit in the circuit, drag a little bit out, and push back in a little bit, and you feel um, <clears throat> in a much more gentle way, a supportive way, you have new means. You still have the same heart, you still have the same drive, and you have different means, and you're, you're sort of made aware by as the ocean kind of splashes up and washes over you um, of your the new things you're capable of. They are, in fact, powerful things, and Umberly will guide the way if you continue to, you know, 
Um, when, as that's going on, she's kind of, she's gonna have like tears coming down her face because it feels like uh, she's getting a hug, even though the water's probably a little bit cold and everything. <laughs> and uh, she'll just, as, as the water probably, uh, whenever it recedes, uh, she'll just give a nod and, you know, clumsily just try to sit up with what little strength she has and, and just, okay, I understand now. I just, just thank you for this new life. And she'll pop open the other bottle, which is a little bit bigger, and start drinking it. Nice. The water recedes and goes back to normal. As you uh, start in a fresh bottle. <laughs> and um, with that, though, the waves and the water, you didn't have to pee before. You have to now. Uh, and that's where we'll take our bio break. <laughs> Masterful as usual, Dad. Wow. Classy. Beautiful. To say the least. <laughs> classic. Classic yes. dance. Classic now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so if any if anyone doesn't know, um, take about a ten minute bio break. Our audio will be hot, so you can chat with us. Uh, otherwise, we'll be back shortly. Catch y'all soon. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
Alright, alright. How are we doing, chat? Thank you for that, Dan. I really appreciated that role play. Oh, good! Good! Yeah! Neat! <laughs> I was like, this would be the perfect moment. Because, you know me, I like to try to role play things in. And that was awesome! It was great. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, right? <laughs> They probably would be pretty curious about <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It was a beautiful moment. It's probably gonna be like sopping wet when she like tries to go up the stairs. <laughs> it's gonna take her like an hour. <laughs> mm. I forgot, right? Yeah, she's at half speed with exhaustion. Yeah, <laughs> slop. So she'll, she'll probably actually like finish the bottles and like crawl. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go to bed. Uh, you all have a great scene. Thank you, Reckless Fury, if you're still here. Hope you have a wonderful night. Ah, yes, good question, Danny. Good question. Okay, pass the meeple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do it on some streams and not on others. I, I like to, when I'm DMing anyway, leave the, the mics hot um, just so we can stay engaged with uh, chat. Everyone in chat. Time to uh, answer some questions and just, you know, chill with chat and have some fun. <laughs> I mean, for me anyway, like when I'm DMing, it's very difficult for me to, to multitask in general, but <laughs> certainly with chat, so... Oh, what did I miss? The artist. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Dan, I sent you a ping on uh, Discord. Oh, let's check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the icons. <laughs> Oh, you like it? Yeah, mm -hmm. my uh, my buddy, my, one of my friends did a uh, a commission for me for um wow. for my Twitch. Yo, that's legit. Yeah, he he drew that. He drew a couple other ones too, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it was a uh, it was a good commission. Nice. Wait, so you, so you do you do your own streaming and stuff? Uh, not recently, uh -huh. but um, I've I've been getting I've been getting started. Uh, like uh, late December, I got started for a little while. But um, not consistent enough. So uh, once I can be mm. more consistent, then I'll, you know, try to pick it up later. But uh, right now it's just too inconsistent. Gotcha. Makes sense. Makes sense. Look, if you ever pick up a stream, hit, let me know so I can host you and we can hype you. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely. Yeah, I would definitely let you know. Uh, hey. But as of right now, it's just uh, nothing's happening right now. Mm -hmm. But soon, soon. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's juicy. I'll type okay. that. That's juicy. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so it's documented. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my, what did he send you? Ooh. <laughs> hmm. 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 Hmm.
right, let's see. Oh, thank you, Danny. How nice. <laughs> hmm, Diablo. Oh my goodness, what a great game. Diablo 1 and 2. I didn't play 3 very much, um, but I love the original. Oh, good. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, thanks again, Danny. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, gosh, it looks like everyone's back. So let me take down our BRB screen. And um, we'll just see where we're at here. It's nice, nice. Yeah, Diablo nice. 3 is really good. Mm. Oh, it is. Okay, good, good. I think I played the... I think I feel like they had a trial version where you could, like, go through the first area or, or something. It was so long ago, but I remember playing that and being like, hmm, seems cool. Uh, um, all right, where were we? Where were we? So Evie being washed ashore, <laughs> drenched and... and <laughs> Finishing off the bo a bottle or two and, and crawling up the stairs uh, <laughs> to the upper deck. Um, Thaxel and Maeve are probably going to be... I'm going to say Thaxel is probably going to head just so I don't want to step on her toes too much with roleplay. So I'll say for now she's going to go to summon a floor for herself. Um, in which she's going to go ahead and, and jump down there. Maeve, will, I think, will still be hanging out with everyone for the time being. She might even ask uh, Nithkri a little bit about a little more... Just the details about these these items and and uh, this this whole business operation. What's going on with that? Um, <laughs> she'll check in with Nithri on that. Uh, yeah, the rest of you are already upstairs. I guess this would be sort of the library section. Um, so Nithri, Maeve is just gonna check in with you on some of the business details of like what's <laughs> up with this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, where are we? Um, yeah. So we stopped there. We stopped at Atmos. You know what? We'll say uh, just to keep keep that injected into the story tonight. Um, Aoife will come down uh, late afternoon, and just uh, sort of you know be passing through the library, using a few of the mage hands to draw some books off the shelves. Oh, oh don't mind me. Um, I'm just uh, <laughs> collecting for some. Oh, unless, unless you um, have decided, perchance, uh, no rush, you can spend the evening still, considering, but um, if you know where you wish to head, uh, after we've dropped off your friends now, so up to the island. Oh, oh, well, uh, I meant to ask, uh, did, did, we, did you find anything out about, um, anything further yourselves about the Sword of Cal, or um, the, the, uh, well, well, we discovered it's called the prayer, but uh, the other... I put some feelers out into the city and didn't know if you'd heard anything. Which you all... We've been, we've been here since you resurrected us, and prior to that we were quite dead. So unfortunately we have not had opportunity to launch our own investigation as of yet. I will say we have our utmost focus on it. It is certainly our highest priority. And then he's going to just kind of turn towards Markon and under his breath say, yes, we probably should figure out this sword thingy before we, you know, return to our actual business of fucking up whomever it was that sicked those dogs upon us. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Once Evie returns, we should lay some sort of ground plan. In the meantime, uh, and he's going to raise his voice again and turn towards um, Evie and say, uh, if you would, uh, for a spot of light reading, do you have any books on the history of artificing in this particular quadrant? Hmm. Uh, sorry, were you asking uh, Aoife or, or Nithgria? Uh, Aoife. Okay, sorry. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh actually, a fairly comprehensive, uh, the book, uh, picks up, uh, the tower, uh, picks up knowledge as it goes along. <laughs> um, so we've gone through, after passing through Atmos, it seemed to collect quite a bit. Um, and, and she takes a, a mage hand that stretches across the room and points to a few, about eight shelves up on one of these uh, floor-to-ceiling bookcases as a whole rung 
uh, about 13 books. Uh, these uh, blue binded books um, cover really the A to Z's of uh, this thing here. Help yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, and these are up to date. Your tower's uh, knowledge vacuuming or whatnot. Uh, it's, uh... Just picked it up from, um, I believe, uh, as we were passing Atmos Isles the first time. Yes, uh, on, my, on my way out. Quite happy. Mm. Very well. And um, if you suck the knowledge from these places and use it to fill books, I don't suppose you would have perhaps some sort of uh, history of recent events uh for the city of uh sorry i forget out of character what the name of the town that with the port oh relias mm -hmm. relias yeah mm -hmm. uh, recent events relatively recent last decade perhaps mm -hmm. in the town of relias well if we can take a look and um she takes her uh one of the mage hands and goes down a couple bookcases grabs the edge and just flips it and it rotates, it pivots in a center point, flips around to the back. <laughs> um, and the shelves on this side are fairly uh, bare. Um, oh, uh, there seems to be some... Uh, um, picked up uh, some writings here and pulls out a couple of books and draws them over. Uh, mostly mundane uh, information. Um... Oh, it looks like there's, well, quite a bit of corruption there. Yes, the mayor's rather corrupt. Most of the officials and... Uh, but uh, there are sparing books here. Please take a look if you wish. Um, Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Harlan will cast animate objects on the books. Um, he'll pick out the ones that look the most relevant and just have them kind of fly off the shelves mm -hmm. and hover around behind him. <laughs> uh, I shall retire a time to read these. And of course... As we are spending the night, I trust there are accommodations here, uh, bedrooms and such. Uh, yeah, uh, Nithgria can assist you. Um, yes. uh, you'll find the tower quite uh, accommodating. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, well, well, do take care, and um, I'll check in sometime later as to our, our, our destination. Um, yes. Hmm. Appreciate it. He nods a couple of times, looks at Nithkri, and uh, leaves again. Oh, ten minutes later, you'll hear this huge thump, and then like see this like little hand just like come ac around the corner on the top of the stairs. Ah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 Are you quite all right? Have you fallen and injured yourself? <laughs> nah, nah, it looks to me like she had a good time, Harlan. Oh. <laughs> quite a good time. I don't think she has her sea legs. And he's gonna he's gonna nudge Harlan. Ah? Huh? Huh? She's a, <laughs> the pirate? Sea legs? Okay. That's awesome. Awesome. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <clears throat> Starts like army crawling towards where everybody else is at. Uh, mm. I did have a good time, but uh, uh, and she stops and just kind of lays on on the floor for like a minute. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, I can't do what I did before. Walk. No, uh, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> Marco's gonna laugh, too. Nithri is gonna make a pillow appear. That's really eyes. funny. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> what was that, Nithri? My bad. And she just made a pillow appear under her head. Oh, okay. comfort. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, I, my abilities. And Harlan will kind of furrow his brow at that moment. You can't use them as you did before you passed. Right. I, I don't seem to have them. What do you mean? Oh, yes. like, you just I, I try to... I nicked... She'll, she'll kind of like 
so she's really weak so she'll just like her left hand was like right here and like she'll go like this and you'll see uh, a little cut on her fingertip i tried to uh do what i usually do but it's not working and uh, i think i have a uh, different abilities what sort of abilities uh, I guess that's for me to figure out you would have gotten the gist of it or however much you want as a player uh, from Umberly like uh, that comforting waves would also like brought forth the thoughts of what you could do <clears throat> but as uh, much as you or as little as you want as a player yeah, so, um, sure. I can cast spells and, and, uh, fight. I you can have... just cast spells now. And fight, love. I, I still have my pistol and she'll, I think. No, why? Oh, we don't have our stuff. Uh, she'll, uh, she'll try to cast, um, uh, the only spell that I can never say, prestidigitation, <laughs> prestidigitation, hey, whatever. Nailed um, it. Actually, you actually said it. <laughs> nice! Oh, yeah, Killed yeah, it. Yeah, you got it. Got it. Yeah, right. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, she'll attempt to cast it on herself for the water and everything um, and uh, see if it works. Okay. Um, it does. I mean, if that's one of the new things you have, it does. Hi. Harlan will kind of throw his brow moment and say, I had to study for seven years at a magical university before I was able to develop my spellcasting talents, and you mean to tell me I could have merely vacationed in the afterlife for a week and two days and achieved the same results? Could have saved me quite a bit of time. I mean, would you like to die again? Well, as it happens, we have unfinished business. <laughs> we are within two first. Harlan, Harlan, was that, was that jealousy? No, of course not. But did you see we were missing? Surprised. Did you see we were missing a gun? <laughs> yes, love. It's a little, little pistol I used yeah. to have. Were you, you wearing it the last time that you came into the tower? Did you have it with you? Uh, I. No. Oh, um. Yeah, I hold on for a second. Um, and you'll see her kind of concentrating and summing up some magic into her hands, and she will create the pistol for you. Oh, her eyes get like really big and just. Is that it? How, how did you. Oh, uh, it's. It's the tower. I. I mean, I, I have. I'm powerful myself, of course, but uh, the tower uh, kind of uh, pushes it uh, farther than what I could, so. Why? Does this mean that we can get our stuff back? Close, at least? Yeah. Are you serious? Well, I can give you your stuff, yeah, like items, sure. Magical items as well. Uh, yeah. Money... Uh, I can't do money. Shit! <laughs> Sorry. No, no, um, no. There's no <laughs> consequence. As our friends aptly determined, or aptly demonstrated, rather, uh, making money is merely a matter of investing the time. But these items that I have lost are quite irreplaceable. You mean to say you can pull them from the ether? It's more like recreating them. Uh, the tower has a memory, kind of? Quite like this tower. Handy. Uh, Markov's gonna furrow his brow a little bit. 
So you can bring back everything but the money? I think so. Okay. Mark on. We'll make the coin back in no time. <laughs> Have no work. Especially with such fine merchandise to sell as these. And he'll hold up one of the little cat slippers. <laughs> Is there a comment card for your manifestation? Mm. I mean, it's not a product. I... I mean, sure, if you want to fill out a comment card, uh, and she'll give one to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, yes, um, so, wait a minute, let me just, uh, do you mean just one time, Dan, or, like, one <laughs> item? Okay, uh, one no, time. they, all their stuff, it's just, okay. uh, according right. to Opus rules, just... Okay, um, just let me, let me go over and sit <laughs> down. And I'll get your stuff together. Um, or at least what I can. Uh, and so she'll go over and kind of like sit down in a chair and like kind of like manifest a couple of pillows around her and just kind of like concentrate and try to uh, recreate everything item wise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's just going to lay her head back down and like yes. kind of like cuddle with the pistol a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she looks so like <laughs> the room with the pistol. Everything's doing the spins, <laughs> <laughs> but the pillow's comfy. And you've got your Marcon. Marcon is elated and upset. <laughs> <laughs> like, on one hand, we can get our gear back. She can create guns out of thin air, but she can't create gold. What? <laughs> <sighs> so sad. <laughs> You'll see her wave her hand, and there's going to be some uh, some music that starts playing in the space. Some like piano oh. music. Oh, nice! Oh, like a nice clear balloon. Oh, mm -hmm. nice! nice. <laughs> He's gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Beautiful. It's so peaceful. Uh, Nithgur, you're hard at work, um, mm -hmm. channeling the reality altering magic of the yes. Omega Tower. Mm -hmm. Bringing back item of clothing and magical weapon and the magical items that that they held on their person last time, um, as you've give, been given special dispensation to do so. Okay, I think I have everything. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free, and it's kind of like all in like a pile. Just you know, go ahead and and get what's yours. <laughs> Sure, sure thing, sure thing. Uh, now, this is only one time. Uh, it's kind of a special occasion. Uh, so if you die again, I and come back again, I won't be able to do it again. Of course. I don't anticipate dying again, but I have not. advice is appreciated. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still just passed out. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, and she'll like Marcon, manifest like, a blanket his things. on her. <laughs> <laughs> He's we'll gonna see. like check the pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and, like hope. <laughs> and, like, yeah, these like pouches. He's gonna look at them. And, like they're pawing around. Like yeah, <laughs> not one copper is in here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you hear the scurrying of little puppy feet as Augustus runs up. Uh, something in his mouth. He ch 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 comes over and sits like, looks at the pile, looks over at Evie and kind of curls up next to Evie and puts his head down on his, uh, three heads down on his paws. And, and the center head has what appears to be like a little, um, or like an aggressive or ornery looking dog slipper. I, 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 uh, one of the ones that Faxel had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, at least it's just... Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Uh, Marcus is going to be like, well, at least we were able to get our stuff back. How'd you make out, Harlan? He's just um, shrugging back this um, flowing robe that's covered in, like almost abstractly painted eyes. He just lets out a quiet sigh. Oh, I had resigned these to the, well, I suppose, to being lost forever. It took quite a bit of time to 
procure all of this, and I understand that you're mourning the loss of capital that we all experienced, but, well, rest assured, a fool and his money are easily parted, and this world is no shortage of fools. <laughs> you know what, you're right. It's very astute. You're right. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be crying over spilled gold and platinum. Very well, sir. And copper. <laughs> and Marco's just going to kind of like stare off into the distance for a little while. Just a thousand yard stare. <laughs> so, tell me, um, how was it being dead? Quite miserable. Uh, crowded. For one. Crowded. Okay. Cold. Dark. Dark? Really can't recommend it very highly at all. Sure. Sure. Um, so cold, dark. Do you remember, did you see anyone else there? Uh, according to my role, Dan, I didn't really remember anything other than being near these folk, right? Uh, yeah, near, yep. Um, Evie and Mark Han, and just, uh, crowded by people. It was just a lot of people there, but... That's about it. Yeah. One thing. One thing. I will. Uh, I actually remember everything. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's the, the perfect role for that. One hundred. Pretty. Can't, can't do any pretty crystal clear. <laughs> I remember my experience in there. I do remember seeing Evie and Harlan, but. Can we try something? Sure. Can I try to recreate your experience visually? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't, yeah. I don't see why not. Okay. All right. Um, can I, can I touch you? Uh, sure. Okay, all right. Uh, she's going to put her hands on his shoulders and try to, uh, manifest an image of what it was like when they, mm-hmm. when they died, Dan. Are you doing it in the projection style on a wall? Or yes, three in the dimensional? projection. Okay. Uh, no, 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 the, 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 the three-dimensional. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so you do, and, and Mark on, you can feel, um, you know, her mag- really powerful magic. Um, and you're thinking, wow, this is the Omega Tower. Then the Omega Tower it power comes in <laughs> on top of hers. And you're like, oh, mm-hmm. so that was just her yeah. power. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, for it's, it's a lot of magical energy, and you can feel it sort of creeping into your mind and, and seeking out the memories of when you were past. But it has to dig kind of deep. It's not painful or anything like that. You just feel it kind of filtering through, like uh, as if someone poured water in your brain cavity. It was just seeping in and in and in. Oh, uh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. So Nithgria, you uh, are able to extract that. And, and uh, for everyone standing in the area, there's um again sort of like that heat distortion appearance uh just a couple of inches off of of markon in every direction and then there's like a warbling to uh, space around and it expands throughout the room and the room is replaced by a three-dimensional projection of his memories you see this effective uh, while everything is black you seem to be walking on a floor that both doesn't and does exist. There is this ubiquitous lighting that doesn't seem to have a source. It's dim. Um, <clears throat> and there are hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, so Nithgray, you'll be able to sort of, uh, cause they were there for a few weeks. You'll be able to fast forward and rewind as, as you want, as you review this. But as they start, it's uh, nearly a hundred and, or maybe two or three hundred people around them. Incredible. You see yourselves standing in front of you. You're looking at yourselves. Oh, okay. This is super weird. <laughs> I I remember I remember for a long time, or for what felt like a long time, we were wandering. Okay. And there was a point in time where. I was taken away from Evie and Harlan, like whisked away by a mysterious figure, huge, huge hooded figure. And I remember he said to me, he he reached his hand out and he said something to the effect of, I'm sorry I failed you, but you're 
you've got, you're too far gone for me to save anymore. Uh, I couldn't save you back then, and I can't save you now. And then the figure was gone. Glorious. Well, uh, we can, uh, and she'll fast forward a little bit, Dan, okay. through. <clears throat> All right, so we'll review. You. you find yourself sort of, everyone is lumbering in different directions, but the three of you seem to be unified in the same direction you're walking. You do notice that um, your faces are a bit distorted. Uh, there's no nose, no mouth. And uh, it's like a, a layer of skin has grown over your eyes. Like you still have eyelids, but your actual eyes have a little sorry, <laughs> layer of skin over it. So it's kind of hard to see, uh, or, or it looks like it would be hard to see, but it's still, it's, it's thin enough where you can probably see somewhat through it. Um, <clears throat> ears are all just n kind of knobs of skin uh, over where your ears would be. Um, oh, that's gross. It is a little gross. And all of you <laughs> in this, this day, actually make a perception check, Harlan and Markon and Nithria and Evie's asleep. And I'll have Maeve do it too. Uh, so for Harlan, that's a 15. Okay. For Markon, that's an 18. Okay. 20 total for Nithria. All right. So um, all of you see that you have um, on your left cheeks in the same exact spot um, an arrangement of dots. There are eight dots. Um, you're not sure how they connect, but they're all in the same pattern, in the same spot on your left cheeks. Uh, hmm. And even the people you pass by, they have it too. Everybody here. What do the dots mean? It's, do you know what that means? I, I didn't even... I don't know what those are. Hmm. I noticed everybody around us had them, but I don't know what it means. I'll say Nithria and Harlan can do an Arcana check. Ooh. Oh, that's much better. 28. Um, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> nice. It is, oh, wait, it's on right, a 28. Arcana, that is a 17. Okay. Um, not something that you've, you've spotted yet, Nithkria, in your studies. Um, Harlan, uh, while you haven't seen this specific arrangement, you have heard of certain binding spells that, um, are often used for powerful objects, which could include souls, mm. um, that bind them to some ritual or, or some arcane practice. Um, again, you haven't seen this one specifically, but you've heard, you know, and everyone gets the same one because it's too, uh, bound to the soul and there's some mark that marks that. Um, and you feel pretty confident that likely what it says with the 28. Yeah, Harlan will, will um, kind of repeat this information to the rest of the group and say, it would appear we were part of some sort of ritual. And Mark on... Do you think it might be the work of this figure you mentioned? No. The uh, the only reason I, I say no is because the figure was very familiar to me. Um, don't have a name, don't even know what the figure is, but I felt a familiarity that I don't think would be associated with what we're doing. I see. He'll you, you, kind of throw his brow for a moment as he considers who could have done this. Um, all right, the time advances. You, you fast forward. Um, <clears throat> you do start to notice that um, at one point you you see a horizontal line of light, glowing light, brighter than all the dim, just this ubiquitous dim light around you, um, with a bluish hue that marks a horizon as well as a vertical one that seems to sh shoot uh, straight upward. Uh, but the more you fast forward time and you seem to be approaching this, you can note that it is not perfectly vertical. It is actually coming from this horizontal light and headed up at maybe a 45 degree angle up above your heads and behind you. Um, 
it looks like a vertices to uh, some sort of, you know, geometric shape, perhaps. To get close. You actually, I guess if you keep fast forwarding, you get up to a point where you cannot pass. You reach a point where there is a wall of force that seems to be at that same 45 degree angle. And you can see this this really bright light. And it's kind of like a bunch of reflection reflection and refraction of light, again on a vertices of some sort of geometric shape. You might find in a in a um, perfectly cut diamond or something like that. <clears throat> You've seen this sort of light or reflection and such. I can't go any farther. Is this the limit of Mark Holmes recollection? It, it does go a little further. I'm sorry. That's just as far as they could walk. But around oh, that time okay. is when the ritual took place. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see them sort of yoinked away into the distance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wish we could follow that, but it doesn't look like that we can. The figure, the figure in my dream for me was the strangest part about that. Because what what they said was very vague, but I feel like I understood what they were saying at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. Not a lick to me, but that okay. doesn't mean it <laughs> eventually. Sounds mystical. And sounds like a dream. It felt real. Sure. So, I don't know. <sighs> well... Do you have any experience with the afterlife? At all? Me? No, uh, I don't. My magic deals more in uh, things like this and, you know, planes and uh, dimension doors and that sort of thing. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure what it means, but uh, and then Markon will like take his shirt off. Hmm. Uh, I used to have these protruding tentacles coming out of my shoulders. Oh. But they're not they here. They were quite impressive. Oh, thank sure you, Harley. They were. But they're they're not here anymore. What happened to them? I have no idea. And this didn't happen the first time that I died. That's why it was so strange. It's it's like when my body got destroyed, something changed. It has something to do with this ritual that happened with the marks. And Evie reported the same sort of change. Yes. Not yeah. exactly, but Harlan's gonna just kind of look down at his own hands and flex him a little bit and see if he feels any differently than before mm. um <clears throat> no i don't i don't think that anything was different you know meta wise uh so in 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 game everything would be the same have that same back to yourself oh very curious how do you feel harlan do you feel the same anything different with you no nothing whatsoever as far as i can tell i'm Exactly the same as I was, though a bit more put together and without quite so many claw and bite marks on me. Oh, sure. Sure. Well, um, thank you, Markon, for sharing this uh, adventure. And she'll dismiss the illusion. Okay. Turns to the library. <sighs> quite the experience. Uh... I'm sure you're glad to be back, all of you. No, oh, quite indeed. I've actually never felt better. <laughs> well, um, aside from being exhausted, but like, <laughs> I can kind of fi figure out where my baseline's gonna be, and I feel like it's gonna be a little bit better than it was. Fascinating. So. Hmm. So maybe whoever did this ritual helped you? I have no idea. A again, the information that I was given was extremely vague, uh, <laughs> but I kind of understood it. Not on a deeper level that I can articulate, but 
Mm. Like, internally. Mm. Well, I can't recall any such vision, so it's more helpful than I can be, unfortunately. But yeah, like, as, as, that's as clear as my memory got. And then, you know, we were presented with the option to come back, and I decided to come back. That felt weird. I felt like we were on a trampoline or something. Getting flung through space. <laughs> I remember that, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and I did not receive the same type of invitation and reception as I did when I died the first time. Oh. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed. Interesting. So wait, do you still keep talking about dying before this? Yeah. What happened then? I was poisoned. Oh. To death. <laughs> Damn, you seem to have pretty shit luck. Pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> died what twice. I never even died once before I met them. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing that you're able to come back again. I thought this was it, like getting getting chopped up and thrown into the Omega Curtain. Like, no, who's <laughs> coming back from that? <laughs> <laughs> There's not much coming back from the Omega Curtain, no. Uh, it's quite an anomaly. And uh, Markon's gonna like, kind of like flex his hands outwards, and like stretch out a little bit, and go. <clears throat> so while I was in the bathroom, I found out that I could do this, and then he's gonna like. <laughs> produce like a, a light in his hand but it'll be like a little shadowy mm. and then it'll like go out he's like i can't do it for very long but i could never do that before i don't even know where this came from i recognize the spell dan um uh, i don't know is it a spell uh it's a cantrip oh uh, yeah you do yeah it's okay. a very weak light spell okay mm. so you can do that before you died no I don't know what this is, and like he'll do it again, hmm. but it'll like go out because he can't like sustain it for very long. <laughs> I could never cast spells at will. Is everybody learning magic now by dying? <laughs> <laughs> Harlan. <laughs> Harlan, can you cast magic? Yes. Would you like to see? He's going to snap his fingers and a giant image of a dragon roaring is going to appear behind him and it's just going to vanish. And he's going to say, I had to work very hard. <laughs> well, as, as did I. Uh, years of training. Um, but, hey, even better that you didn't have to go through all that training, right? Uh, just... To be very fair, Harlan, I did die twice. That's Good. true. That's okay. very only true. died. Evie only died once. I haven't died any. <laughs> it's not that I'm jealous. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> but the dragon was quite impressive. That was impressive. It was, yeah. It's a really dope dragon. It filled the space. <laughs> Yes, I know. I worked very hard on it. Did you notice the eye? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a very difficult. It's a difficult spell to learn. Thank you. <laughs> Even there's a light flashing on and off a few times. Just you're welcome to stay asleep. But Mark Hans, <laughs> tink tink. I keep, I keep tink, casting tink, it. Tink tink. <laughs> I keep doing it. <laughs> Don't wake up at that. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I didn't really? know that you could just cast spells without a cost. And he's just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Why? Why do you get? What? Oh. Kind of lifts her head up. <laughs> I know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> when he's uh, mm. Why? But it's Makan. Why? Oh, oh, I learned how to do this. He's going to flash the light Ooh. in her eyes. Like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> flash her back out. 
I did that. I did that with nothing, and he's gonna do it again. <laughs> 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 and then he'll, and then he'll stop. Huh. What about a spa? A uh, spa. Any of you interested in Ooh. some time at a spa? Yes. Yes. Very interesting. Uh, we love spas. Okay. All right. Um, give me a few moments. Let me just go in and, and woof it together, and uh, I'll be back. Uh, yes, before you go, know, before you go, know, yes. Please, I understand this might be very difficult, but I would prefer no themed ornamentation to my spa. Uh, no dog towels. Oh, no oh, got uh, it. bath bombs that are shaped like famous celebrities' heads. Uh, okay. None of that, please. Okay. All right. I okay. Okay. Uh, he, Nith Kriya, he does not speak for me. I would like all of that. I'll see what I can do. I'll Anything I spa do. related that you have, I'd like to try it out. <laughs> nice. So Nithkira will leave and she'll go and like create that room, Dan. As you wave your hand and the floor turns, you know, lowers into stairs, but they're actually, it's like an escalator. We just, because it's a spa, you've got to have relaxation from the big get go. So you step on the top mm -hmm. step, lowers you, just kind of watch them as you go out of sight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah you create an entire i mean whatever you want to do you can use the whole floor i mean you've got like a lot of leeway with what oh what sure do, sure yeah so it's it's it. as as good of a spa as, as she can imagine okay um very yes. luxurious um mm. and uh all with separate little areas for each of them um and mm. she'll have some very uh like relaxing music playing mm -hmm. um yeah even put off like a little sauna off to the side if they want to uh, steam up a bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Nice. And she'll come back down. And, okay, it's ready. Just follow me. <laughs> he will follow. Uh, Markon will do the same. <laughs> you, you head down. <laughs> oh, good evening. Sorry. <laughs> uh, she's going to try to stand up a bit and, and follow. <sighs> Clumsily. <laughs> uh, Maeve will give you a hand. Oh, um, come, dear. Come. I must get you to relax. Oh, uh, we you. deserve this, if nothing else. Yes. And <laughs> you know, the escalator. I'm picturing, and, and stop me if it's not what you had in mind, Steph, but that type of layout, there's, there's like five main rooms uh mm -hmm. but they're kind of in a loop so that the center yep. is is the sauna and then there's little like way up high in the wall little pass-throughs so that you can talk through the center room you know kind of shout to one another if you mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. um but the rooms are beautiful the little hot tub that's bubbling in each room um there's you know tables for you know with some spectral masseuses ready to roll um you name it there's anything you can want this, the this room smells of lavender Hmm. Um, each little room has like a little basket in it with like, you know, some smell good, you know, some salts, mm. some bath salts. Um, and she'll keep one without the, and she'll motion Harlan to the one without the, the extra products in it. But the rest <laughs> of them will have like bath bombs in the shape of like a cat's head, um, a dog, a duck. Uh, and also, um, like there'll be regular like smelling like lotions and stuff there'll also be ones like smell like bacon and fire plate you know like fire pit um each each one will have a robe and the one the, other than harlan's will have like robes that are like uh one has like an and well we'll see they'll all have like an illustrious picture of the like an illustrated picture of the tower on the back of it. Ooh. Oh, you guys have merch? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it. I went to the Tower. All I got was this robe. Yeah. yeah. It's got merch. Mud face masks. Right. The oh. towels also have a, have the illustrative uh, picture of the tower on it. <laughs> and it says like Omega Tower at the bottom in like cursive letters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Omega That's Tower. Beautiful. Uh, Markon's gonna, gonna so cool. go to Nith Kriya with one of the bath bombs. Do I just throw this in there? Yes. Do I throw all of them in there? You can, sure. Oh, and he's gonna, he's gonna like start gathering all the ones up on his oh. side. And then drop them in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's beautiful. 
What a bath. Thankfully, it's a rather large <laughs> tub. <laughs> Uh, but it creates quite an, um, an interesting color and mixture to the uh, <laughs> the it's water. Like brown and murky. <laughs> <It's pretty> brown, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it must be a mud bath. Oh, <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Sauna turns on, and some of that steam starts coming through the little pass-throughs up in the walls. Uh, again, it's, everything kind of loops around. These five rooms are based around this sauna in the center. You can shout out through those openings in the wall, like, to one another, if you wish to. Nithria made a room for herself, too, so she is also enjoying oh, some spa time. Nice, all right, all right. I think Evie's those taxel would... The... Oh, sorry, good. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Evie's going to take the cat bath bomb and put it in the tub and get a hot bath. And as she's sitting in the water, she'll, like, oh, crap, moment, and... um call out for Maeve and because she all of a sudden remembered that their stuff was back <laughs> mm. so she'll, she'll ask Maeve if, if she can bring her her stuff after she's out of bath yes dear yes yes of course we will make sure you get your stuff and you hear Thaxel somewhere no there's no way Thaxel would not oh for sure she oh, would yeah. instantly <laughs> know that there was a <laughs> spa uh, all right, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna sit down, and I'm gonna enjoy this spa. Oh, look at this! This is cute. It's a cat head. You just kind of hear her talking out loud in the uh, in her room. <laughs> and everyone's able to relax. Marcon's gonna like, like, come back up from being like underneath the water with all the bath bombs. <laughs> He's like, the, the the smells in here are interesting, but it's great. Uh, do you have any of those comment cards? He's gonna kind of be like backstroking a little bit and like letting like laying down on his back. <laughs> She'll relaxed, have a comment like... card appear beside the but beside the your your spa. Okay, in, and in your room. He'll just be like, "Thank you," uh, and he's gonna like swim through it and just Anytime. enjoy it. Oh, nice, nice, <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm going to say that, you know, if you all spend a good hour at least in here, you're going to remove another point of exhaustion. This is the height of comfort and rehabilitation. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, is there anything else you'd all like to do in the spa area? Or you want to move on in the tower here for the night? get herself scrubbed up nice and clean and rinsed off and then she's gonna get out of the tub and put on the robe and mm. right uh, right <laughs> there's some oh. mirrors in here yeah you can <laughs> uh right, uh and she'll uh go to the sauna part oh ah, okay you step his little door you can walk into the sauna you hear thaxel from has anyone seen my slipper i'm missing one slipper <laughs> Why do I have one slipper? <laughs> I don't know, love. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe Augustus got it. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> you also look a wine caddy in here too. Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh, uh when when Marcon gets out of his uh his bath, he's gonna go to the wine caddy and, and get like two glasses and then head over to the sauna and then hand Evie one as they go in there. So here you go. I know this is dangerous, but here you go. Alcohol and saunas don't really mix that well. Uh, then he's going to get like cozied up in there and start sipping his wine in this hot ass sauna. Nice. <laughs> he's going to sweat. Do the same. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, so sweaty and gross. Uh, <laughs> there's those condensation running down the wine bottle, too. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice. Max will join you at one point. She'll come out. Oh, oh. Right. So a seat. Oh. I'm gonna have to get one of these put in in um in the Feywild here. Mm. Oh, on your uh. Mm. Oh yeah, your queen. That's right. I'm a queen. Thirty thirty square miles. Vast domain, such. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it in the middle of nowhere? Ah, uh, well, that's a minor detail. <laughs> are there any are there any subjects there? I, <laughs> like when they once they know i've set set up shop at some point i'm sure they'll they'll come in droves 
I'm, I'm sure they're gonna go for that Thaxel, and then he's gonna like swirl around his wine and, and take <laughs> another sip. Just relax. Nice. I'm sure, Mabel will join as well at one point. Oh, um, this queen, marvelous work, <laughs> truly. Fine. Mm, mm. I'm glad oh. that you're enjoying it. Very relaxed. Good. Uh, good. And you know what? I'm going to have Maeve in one of the Omega Tower robes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's not here to tell me she oh, Sorry. Yeah. I imagine she'd be comfy in that. It feels like something she'd do. Um, uh, yes. She'll pour herself a glass of wine. From... We'll say that she could find one that looks a little bit like a kimono. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, there's, so there's a group of them. You can either get like the nice comfy cotton cotton ones or you can get one that looks like a kimono <laughs> beautiful so she'll come out in the omega tower kimono uh yes. <laughs> i definitely want to see that design <laughs> 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 it sounds like it could be amazing <laughs> uh <laughs> uh yeah yeah all right i mean you're all able to really just Relax a bit here. The three of uh, you, the three of you in particular, of course, Evie, Harlan, Markon. You've been through an extensive ordeal with dying, terrible deaths, mm. being stuck in whatever for however long, being brought slammed back into your bodies in the in the resurrection ritual, um, and this just feels good. Uh, you're back with with. Um, Maeve is here, you know, and Thaxel, you know, uh, and um, you're just in a safe, comfortable space after all this. You've got your stuff back. Things are, feel like maybe it's a turning point. Things are kind of turning around for you. <laughs> I must say, dying was horrible. Well, the Omega Tower is quite the consolation prize. Definitely can't Thank be. Might be, yeah. One of few things that I actually uh, quite agree with you on that. Yeah, Harlan, you're you're speaking the truth right now. Mm -hmm. Down for a second time wasn't great, but uh, this spa. Did you use the bath bombs? Oh wait, no, Harlan, you're against fun. Never mind. Oh no, I'm merely <laughs> against gaudiness. Um, have you tried <laughs> these masks? And he'll like hold up one of. He's wearing like a full facial mask thing, and he's just. Mm -hmm. The moisturization is... Uh, most people don't realize how dry their face actually is. When you really get down to it, one of the best things you can do is take care of your face. My face is pretty... Mine's pretty... I mean, it's sweaty, but it is dry. Mine's smooth. Are you supposed to take care of the face? Harlan, do you, you have any more of those fancy masks? Of course. He'll um, just kind of toss one and it looks like he's just throwing it into the air but then mm -hmm. it'll just be caught in midair by the invisible servant who will trot it on over to Markon. Nice. <laughs> How does this, uh, Markon will take it. How does this work, Harlan? Uh, so, what you'll need to do is uh, unfold it. It's quite damp by design. And then merely put it on your face. Um, eye holes go over the eyes, obviously. A slight okay. hole for the mouth. He'll, and then, like, position it over his eye, like, the eye holes, like... There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then simply slow. lay back. Alright. And then just don't touch it, just leave it alone? Leave it alone. Enjoy right. yourself. Do you have any cucumber? Oh, uh, sure. And she'll bring some, you know, have some cucumber on, like, a little platter up here. But he'll put two slices over his eyes. Oh. You're doing it good. This is fantastic. What does that do? I don't know, but it feels nice. It helps food on your face? Just, uh, take care of, like, under eye circles, just kind of refresh yourself. Do I really look that bad? Uh, Marco's oh. gonna take off one of the cucumbers and say, yeah, you look haggard, and he's gonna put it back on. You should try it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, just just take a couple and just try it. Um, you look wonderful, but it'll help. Avi is like Evie, you just came back from being dead. Treat yourself. Evie's <sighs> very she just has this really confused look on her face. It's like a, I don't know. Uh, 
Hey, well, how are you? It's just... I show him a mask. Uh... Yeah, here. She'll hand you one. Uh, she'll, she'll, from seeing the interaction between Markon and Harlan, uh, she'll, like, you know, undo it and then, like, do her best to, like, un fold it without ripping it. <laughs> uh, she'll just copy what Markon did and, and uh, like this? Yes. Uh, here. It, she'll kind of like smooth it out a bit. Okay. Uh, right. And cucumbers. Uh, I have this stay just on Put them legs. on your eye and just hold your head back. Oh. Okay. And you just gotta leave it there. She'll kind of turn up the music a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music is playing in here? Um, we'll say that it's went to smooth jazz. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's like do 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 do. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's peaceful. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Mm -hmm. Very, very comfortable. You, you almost. Hey. Uh, oh, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh Mark, I will be like, hey, guys. Let's let's do our best to not die again. Right. <laughs> I. She'll take one of the cucumbers and eats it. <laughs> nice. You're delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're able to find a respite that you just haven't uh, so long. Even before, you've all been so busy with so much that uh, you really haven't had a chance to just stop and relax and, and not worry about all the things you have in your plates. <clears throat> Um, oops, let's see. Uh, yeah, and uh, you, you almost forget about, you know, the fact that you're flying through a different quadrant of the world in a, in a large tower, um, and that Bossarel and all that you knew has been swallowed up by the Omega Curtain, and that's in about, what were we, uh, three to five months, uh, so two to four months, um, the rest of the Omega Curtain will fall, and... Envelops the rest of the world. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And I think we'll end the session there tonight. It's a little touch early, but I don't know what else we'll do for the last end. <laughs> Repeat that last sentence? <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was a three to five month time frame. Now it's two to four. But that's oh. still time. That's still time. Hey, look, it's okay. a relaxing night. It's a relaxing uh, night. So we should a start relaxing stop night while the whole world dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 if you stress out about it every time the world's about to die, you're gonna be you're gonna be stressed all the time. It's yeah. always in danger from something. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's radical acceptance. You just have to accept things like this can happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Fine. just we... going to be terrible and we have to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Um, well, that was a, a very interesting and super fun session. I love the RP. Y'all are just incredible. Thank you, you all so much, players. You rock. <laughs> um, uh, it was extra fun that it was the three of you that were resurrected. And, and Steph, thank you again for joining us tonight. Yay! Uh, thank you, Steph. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what a thank blast. You, Steph. <laughs> um, all right, let me bring up the ye old timey schedule here. Um, for anyone that's new, you'll see that we have a lot, a ton, one might say, of D&D &D throughout the week, mostly in this 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern time slot. But we do also have a 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Saturday. Uh, campaign um, every Tuesday from two to four Eastern, <laughs> you mm -hmm. can catch Junton Craft with Steph and Vic. Yeah, um, it was amazing, by the way. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why you're mm -hmm. laughing, Dan. No. Serious business here. <laughs> at Dungeon it was Craft. so serial earlier. So I was, yes. serial. Yeah. I was terrified. Uh -huh. Right. And amazed. <laughs> oh, I I was crushed because I missed it. I had, I had an emergency and I had to race out. <laughs> 
and I raced back home like in an unsafe manner. So shame on me, but I wanted to get back before it ended, and I got in at like four ten, and I loaded it up, and it was done. I'm like, oh, but yeah. All I will say is that uh, Steph and Vic are to be respected and feared after that stream. <laughs> <laughs> um, Amazing. I, I knew. True. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what they were going to have for their costumes. Mm -hmm. And so I was so excited because we were just hyping it as couples. Because it is, you know, a uh, um, couples costume. Mm -hmm. And so it's normally, of course, Dungeon Craft, Steph and Vic, they, uh, they both paint uh, minis and do tile work and such for the campaigns ADM on the channel here um and and a bunch of other really fun stuff in chat um but yeah this was a special pre-valentine's one with couples costumes and if you haven't seen it check the vod here i'm doing absolutely. that tomorrow for sure absolutely um and it'll find its way up on our youtube page after but <laughs> i can't wait it's so bummed i missed it but i i saw the going live notification and i had the screen gash and like oh my gosh i wish i could be there <laughs> Um, yes. So, we also have every Friday, noon to 3 p.m. Eastern, Mad Art with Steph. Our very own Steph here um, does fan art from uh, across the different campaigns. So, if you're not already a member of our Discord, I'm pretty sure Nightbot put a link. Oh, thank you, Danny. Um, <clears throat> consider joining. There's a bunch of a nice safe space. Uh, there's a lot of really supportive community. A lot of funny things, but also you can put in requests and votes um, for what Steph's going to work on. And then every Sunday, 2 to 5 p.m. Eastern, we have Madbird Plays Board Games, hosted by Vic. Um, where she plays a, a bunch of different tabletop games with uh, different folks from the community each week. It all mi mixes up each Sunday. Uh, we're still sorting out some hardware issues, so it's still on hiatus. But uh, hopefully I'll have an update for you soon, a, a proper fresh update. Uh, we've recently started a Patreon back in November. If you're looking to support us in a monetary fashion... Uh, we suggest Patreon. Um, uh, you still get, uh, even with the $5 tier, the subscriber die that you get for supporting us here on Twitch. Um, but we can give you uh, back a little bit more, and a little more goes to us. Um, so it works out all around. Plus there's a, a bunch of other tiers here that are, are super fun and hilarious. Again, my favorite uh, currently is Drama Club because we have this uh, double feature movie night we do uh, once a month with that one. And it's it's just gold just gold that's all i can say <laughs> yes. um all right we're gonna go ahead and read our friends over at minus one charisma um thank you viewers uh hilarious tonight and so great and and fun to have you here with us and players again wonderful evening thank you so much <laughs> um all right and i hope you all have a good night we'll catch you later bye bye, bye everybody <laughs>